Hello, welcome to chapter 17, part 3, Bootstrap Forms and the Horizontal Form in it, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, a Bootstrap Form Layout, that is, how to build a Horizontal Form Layout. In the last two, last two sessions, we learned like how to build a Vertical Form as well as the Inline Form Layout and now it's time to learn how to build a Horizontal Form Layout. And here is the description for Horizontal Form, how it looks actually. The labels will be on the left side and the associated form controls will be on the right side. So um, right now we'll not understand like how actually it renders on the web page but when we code in Visual Studio I assure you that we'll understand the horizontal form layout completely and before working with the horizontal form we have to follow these rules for the form layouts okay as we'll done in the earlier session we'll do it uh, in the session also and now let me jump back to let me jump to my Visual Studio and here is a code for the vertical form layout or the default form layout and when I push this page to the browser it renders in this manner okay as we know earlier this is the vertical form layout or the default form layout now my objective is I want to convert this vertical form layout into horizontal form layout okay how do I do that it's very simple and you can observe I have already followed these rules in my code to my form tag added form and uh, labels are wrapped between the class called form group and to the input elements I've added a class called form control and I've followed all these rules. Now it's our time to convert our vertical form into horizontal form. So how do I do that? It's very simple. What I'll do is first and foremost thing I'll remove this due which is spanning 12 columns okay and the respective closing tag of that due okay now I'm done with that and my next job is to this form tag I have to add a class called form horizontal okay uh, the classes I want to add form horizontal once I'm done with that my next job is to this label I want to add a class called control label okay and let me copy and paste to the next label also for password okay control V and I'm done with this and my next objective is like as per the definition I want the labels on the left and associated form controls on the right in the sense in the single row itself I want the label as well as the input type this uh, control so what I have to do is I have to make use of bootstrap grid, grid system okay bootstrap grid system is going to provide me 12 columns and in that 12 columns I have to make it uh, my label as well as the control so how do I divide that I'll divide like first two columns will be for the label and the rest 10 columns will be for my control so how to do that it's very simple to this label I want to add another class called call large 2 because this label is going to acquire two columns and now I have left with the other 10 columns what I'll do is I'll add another due okay within that due I'll paste this input type control okay and to this control I want to add a class called to this due I want to add a class called call large 10 because the first two columns is acquired by the label and the next 10 columns should be acquired by the input type input type element such that both the label as well as the input type control will come in the single row and similarly I have to do it for this also what I'll do is I'll add a class called call large 2 and I'll add one due here to this due I'll cut and paste this input element control X control V and now let me play add a class called call large 10 okay now I'm done with this now when I go back to my browser and when I do fi and I refresh my web page it renders like this okay it's following our rule the rule is horizontal form layout labels are on the left and associated form controls are on the right yes I've done with that labels are on the left and associated form controls on the, on the right but we have one deficiency here the deficiency is the login button it's sitting here itself it's not moving under this form control in the sense I want this login button below this form control like input type element okay how do how can I make that what I have to do is I'll come back to my uh, code here what I'll do uh, to this due element okay to this due element I'll add one sorry to this button element I'll add a due 
to that due let me add a class called form group okay and inside that due let me take another due element and within that due element I'll paste this button element okay control V and to this button element I'll tell like class is equal to uh, call large it should acquire the 10 only 10 columns why because the button should come below this element control input type element so this is acquiring the 10 columns out of 12 so for the button also I'm giving like 10 such that it comes below this so what I'll do I'll do control s and I'll come back and I'll press fi and let me see how it renders okay it's not it's not uh, it's not acquiring why because see what we have to do here we have to tell this like call large 10 okay but uh, it has to move two units away, f away f uh, if it in the sense if it has to come here it has to uh, cross two columns then it has to come so what I'll do here is I'll add the offset class what we learned earlier like call offset large 2 so when I do this when I come back and when I refresh you can observe the button comes below that control elements input type text and input type password below that the button is lying so this is what we call the horizontal form layout in the sense the label as well as the control they are lying in the same row okay uh, si next to next so this is what we learned like how to build a horizontal form layout okay and finally uh, let me show you uh, a simple other simple one uh, demo that is to this label what I'll do is I'll add uh, one attribute like placeholder okay okay or else what I'll do uh, to this input type we, sorry to the input type we have to add a attribute called placeholder let me tell like username and similarly to this input type let me add a placeholder attribute let me tell like um, like password now when I come back and when I refresh you can observe that username and password comes within that control and now once I enter some text those placeholders are gone okay and that's what the placeholder is and finally we learn saw a beautiful demo for horizontal form and Last but not the least, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Ankpro Training and you can also visit our Facebook page visiting these URLs and you can also follow us on Twitter. For further references, you can visit our website and we are on, we are on LinkedIn too. And uh, last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.